Is is it recording? Are you recording? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, every pony. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have another fan fiction for you, and I hope you'll enjoy. So, without further ado, how about we read the description? Mystery A dragon detective is called into action by a certain purple mare to recover some stolen property. Author's note. This is a flash fic I wrote during a writing session with the Equestria IRC channel on Caffee.net. Caffee? The prompt for this fic was a mystery, and I only had 30 minutes to come up with and write a story based on the prompt. Mm, slightly edited from its original version for grammatical purposes. Chapter 1 Mystery Written by Time Bomb Zero You might not think it was possible looking at it. But this sleepy town had its dark side. Murder, kidnapping, theft, drugs, the works. Just goes to show that crime knows no boundaries. Whether it's a bustling metropolis like Manhattan or this close-knit village known only as Ponyville. Every town needed a person like me. Someone with a cold yet firm sense of justice. Someone who could show that darkness could be fought with the light. It was another slow day at the office. That's what they all were these past few weeks. I was ready to even consider the thought that maybe I had finally left a lasting impression on the citizens when she walked in. In another universe, she could have been just another dame. But I knew her well. I could recognize her purple looks anywhere. Spike? I could also recognize that badgering voice anywhere. You might say she was a bit of a regular here. She came running to me for a lot of problems. Missing property, missing friends, a suspicious threatening letter signed by her pet owl. She lived the life of danger, this one, but it was one I was familiar with. Oh, there you are, Spike. Have you seen my book on medical plants? Fluttershy asked if she could borrow it, and I need it right away. Stolen property again. You'd think she would have learned her lesson all those other times. Then again, without her carelessness, there's no telling how many cooks would still be prowling the streets. You could say she was my unintentional sting plan. Missing book, eh? No, no problem, Tuts. Uh, what did you just call me? She always loved the playful nickname I had given her. It was a great risk giving affectionate names for any pony whose life could be taken in an instant. But 
I just couldn't apply my cold and rational senses to this one bear. Maybe she had bewitched me somehow. Maybe it was just because she's the one who brings me my meals every day and keeps a roof over my head. Uh, Spike? Buck? Help? Find? Hello? Oh, um, uh, don't worry, Dame. I'll track down your book and, and make that scumbag who took it pay. Took it? Spike, I'm being serious here. Fluttershy needs that book right out. Oh, there it is. Um, Spike, why are you standing on the book? She was hanging right over my desk that I built with my own two hands. This was serious. I could tell I was in for one heck of a case this time. But as long as I solve it by the end of the day, then I'll have done my share at fighting back the darkness that threatened to take my city. Whoa! Uh, sorry, Spike. Maybe I should have given you a little more warning before I tried to magic it out from underneath you. I have been betrayed! What in Equestria could compel this moral upstanding citizen to stoop so low as to attempt to murder me in my own office? I thought I knew you, Twilight. Oh, and Spike, you need to stop reading those detective comics. You're really not old enough for them. Sometimes I wonder why I even bother.